Say hello to the new chief of staff, Dr. Jason Portemain. Uh. We are so proud of you. Oh. Thanks, Dad. Unanimously. Uh, it probably didn't hurt that both of you were campaigning for me, so. Oh, there was no campaigning uh, necessary. I mean, you got the job on your own merit. Well, this calls for a toast. We're gonna have more than a toast. There's gonna be a formal announcement tonight at the hospital, and away we go. Family celebration? Yes, Tracy. Congratulate your nephew on becoming the new chief of staff. <laughs> How much did that cost you, Alan? Or did Daddy donate another wing to the hospital? He got the job on his own merit. And his last name. You will be the youngest chief of staff in the history of this hospital. And you did it on your own excellence. You are never more pompous than when you're bragging. And what are you so puffed up about? He isn't even your son. Knock, Knock it, it off, off Tracy. Tracy. Just stating the facts. Well, state any more, and you'll be out on the street. This is my house. Yeah. I gave it to you. Because you're an idiot. Okay, that's it. Alice, Tracy, Mom, Mom, leaving. Mom Don't everybody. Me. It wouldn't be a family occasion if Tracy wasn't bitter about something, right? Here, son. Mm, thank you. You know, it's too bad that this boy went into medicine. If ELQ were in Jason's hands, <laughs> we would be making a fortune. <laughs> Jason is making a fortune. He is a plastic surgeon. Cosmetic surgery, and I can get you a family discount, Tracy. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, now that you're going to be running the entire hospital, I assume that you're going to be giving up the responsibility of your private practice. All right, no, no way, Dad. I can do that in my sleep. Hang on a second. I've been chief of staff. I know how difficult it is. Oh, nonsense. Just because you screwed up, there's no reason the boy will. Okay, okay. This is going to be a fun evening for everybody. And I just want to say, I thank God every single day that you were not in that car with AJ when he had the accident. Mm. And I didn't lose you, too. You're not going to lose me, Mom. I got everything under control. as the mother of the chief of staff? No question about that. I am afraid the father of the chief of staff hasn't gained any more patience. Are you gonna drive with us? Actually, I'm gonna take the Lamborghini, so I'll, I'll see you there. I am so proud of you. Thanks, Mom. Okay, see you there. Yeah. Jeremy, get a cottonoid in here. We need to get this bleeding under control before it's too late. I need the bobby. Clamp. Clamp. 